Okay, welcome to Letter Tech Australia. Today we're going to quickly show you a video on just how quick it is to, to do a letter. We're going to do this video in real time. So we're going to make this B today. We've got our machine loaded, we've got our claws loaded. This video is just to demonstrate how easy it is to process a letter. So we come onto our screen, we'll pick our middle bit of our B. You hear the machine start up, start scoring and doing its thing. Now this machine will pick your inside and outside parts of your letter. It will know to put the paint on the inside or the outside of the letter. Today we're using a matte black 60mm in 0.8 thickness. Nice solid material. You see the letter starting to come out of the bending rods. The machine is doing its thing and just bending it to the radius as it needs to be. Nice and quick, nice and easy. As it goes around, we'll make sure we can get it into the back of our letter. Alright, so it's as simple as that. You see here we get a little bit of waste on the material. Every single piece that comes out gets that tiny little bit at the start. Just to get the initial aluminium past the cutter head. So on our face we've got a rebate. So this simply folds on the score lines. Clicks in. Simple as that. We'll go back across, return the material to the cutter head. and process that next in the part. So that is in there nice and tight. We can turn this letter upside down, shake it. It's absolutely against that rebate. The fitment, you play around your fitment at the start of your job and your letters are always gonna come out perfect. So now we've got the middle part of the letter coming out. Top the pop up a bit. Alright, so we've got them out. Again, take the waste off this one. And fold that. So that there. We'll just click in there as well. And then what we'll do before we do the outer part of the B, we'll do some gluing. So the glue is a two-part glue, simply along there, squirt it with the activator. The glue will turn yellow to say the activator's hit it, and then once it's gone clear, that means it's off. Yeah, a little bit of activator on there. See, so just do a little bit at a time. Straight around like that. Obviously, if the part's in there nice and tight, you don't need to tack and move it around and manipulate it as much. And these machines will do 99% of the, you know, the fitment. You've just got to shuffle stuff around to do the rest. A little bit of glue on this one. So there we go. That's almost these let the inside of this letter, all glued up. So that's the main body done. What we've got, we've got our little joins here. So what we do, we've got a little tab. Just a score in the back, fold it to where it needs to suit. It's sat down a little bit so your back can sit in there. A little bit of glue on that, and on that side. That in, hard in like that. A little bit of harder down. Is that one hooked? Again, grab a tab again, fold it like that. Make sure it fits in there nice and tight. Bit of glue in there, in there, like that. So now, that is the inside of our letter done. That is in there nice and tight, looks beautiful. So what we'll do is we'll move on to the outside part of our B now. We'll return our material to the slotted spot. The best part, best place of this joint is in here. Hides it out of the way nice and. Right, so we'll do flip that. Start the processing. You'll notice that it doesn't actually look like a B when it comes out of, the, out of the machine because it needs to be folded in the slot spots. Now, also, when we're doing small letters like this, 
our normal LetterTech AB glue is perfect. If you do move up into the bigger part, the bigger letters, we do offer a high build glue as well. So you start with this glue and then you put another glue on top that's a nice elastic glue, perfect for bigger letters. You can do up to a 1200 letter by just gluing without welding. So you'll see here, the material's starting to come out now. Again, before it went that way and the painted surface on the inside, now it's coming this way and the painted surface will be on the outside of the B. Machine does its thing, nice and quick. Perfect radiuses. Coming along. Moving into the serif. You just hold it to stop it from slopping around so much. You know, the more it swings around, the more it's going to change your angle, maybe. There we go. So that's the body of our B done. We'll just slip that off. Snap out a little bit of waste off. And as simple as folding it on those score lines, as you can see, the B takes shape straight away. Look at that. So, this on our face, what we do is you pick a, pick a nice square corner if you've got one in your letter, just to lock that in, dollop the glue in there, a little bit of activator on it, and that starts the your process of moving around your letter. As you see, we move into the serif here. Sometimes on tricky letters, you might just need that extra set of hands. We've actually got a fabrication bench to do these on, but I just thought for the purpose of this video to see, you know, straight from the machine, straight to fabricating. Let's do it here. One thing I'll just say too, Cam, is that, you know, the speed of these things are incredible. We've actually got this machine slowed down a bit because we prefer to have them running a bit slower for accuracy and just there's no need for it to be going flat out um, whereas if uh, the difference with this video is you'll see the whole letter being done in live stream not like the videos you see on YouTube they're all done you know with time lapse and, and you, you don't get a real good idea of how long it takes but this way you see exactly how long it takes and it's so fast like realistically, you could have been bending that outside while you were gluing the inside. Could have, yeah. Yeah. But really, there's no need to, to do things too fast when you've got one of these machines because it saves that much time and the letters come out that perfect. You're saving pff, so much time anyway. And like Pete said, the faster you do run your machine, the, the more stress you're putting your machine under as well. You know, just because the machine's capable of doing it doesn't mean that it needs to run that fast. You know, you put more stress on your materials, more stress on your, all your components inside the machine. Again, just nice and quick and simple. Not that it really matters with these machines. They're absolutely built like a, a tank, aren't they? They're yeah. <laughs> all right. So I'm just nearing to the end of it. And here, just doing there. And the best part about these letters too, over acrylic letters, is the illumination. The illumination's just, it's, it's just way better than acrylic letters because, um, because the returns are all painted with a luminescent paint to refract the light off the LEDs, it bounces it around inside the cans, which means you can put bigger LEDs in a smaller can without the worry of spotting on the face. And um, so you just get that really beautiful, bright illumination. And um, with the, uh, another advantage over these letters is you don't get no um, rubbish building up in the bottom of the letters when they're on the wall. 
you know, acrylic letters, you really need to take them down every couple of years and clean them because they get a build up of dust and grime in the bottom of the letters. Um, whereas if these things, you know, you put them up and forget about them. Yeah. Just move into that last little bit of the letter now. Nice joiner in there. Nice and tight. Bit of hardener on it. And that's our letter glued up. Nice and simple, nice and fast. Let's pull this coating off. Now this coating is best left on until the very end when, the, when your letter's installed. You can pull that off once it's installed. Look at that. Beautiful matte black returns. Not a mark in those radiuses. Beautiful. Nice letter. Nice and light. Nice and strong. Just beautiful. And what? I think that's about it. 11 minutes of video and that's a letter finished. Yeah, but you could, re you know, usually when we're doing it in a production style environment, we, we bend all the returns in one hit, you know, and then we put them all together in one hit. So a letter like that realistically takes about five, six minutes. Yeah, this, this video is purely just a real time video to show, you know, what, what is possible. What's involved in putting them together. Yeah. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank Let's you. See how easy it is.